welcome to my channel and I am Stephanie and this is the week two of May's wrap up. So oh, May the 6th through May the 12th. So if you hadn't noticed, I'm recording this on Mother's Day. Um, and so happy Mother's Day to all those ladies out there that are mothers and have kids. Doesn't matter how you had them. If you had them naturally or if you adopted or if you have surrogate kids whatever if it makes you a mom happy Mother's Day to you so last week was pretty busy although I didn't I only read five books last week um, it was a busy week because I was doing buzzword readathon and many of these books fell into the category for that readathon and the buzzword was girl. So let's get to what I read last week. To start off the week, I read Story of a Girl by Sarah Zar. And this book follows a young woman that is dealing with having issues with her family. It's a very family oriented book. She has something that goes wrong when she is 13, I believe. And then you sort of zoom ahead a couple years and she's dealing with the fallback and how her family dynamics are her with her brother and with her mother and with her father and you sort of follow her um, so I place this in YA it follows the categories of my buzz buzzword readathon uh, romance roundabout for YA and for genreathon because it was under six hours in audiobook form which I read in audiobook and I gave it 3.5 to 4 stars. The next book I read was Girl Crush by Steffi Walls and I placed this in contemporary. I really really enjoyed this book. It's about a woman that is newly divorced or not maybe not even newly divorced but divorced and she is sort of almost having a midlife crisis where she wants to test her sexuality. Maybe she wants to you know bat for the same team now and she goes on these dates and her friends she already has lesbian friends that are very supportive and give her a whole bunch of shit for trying to bat for the same team but at the same time she ends up meeting a man that likes her because she's her and i really really enjoyed that i listened to it on audiobook and i gave it five stars it falls into the categories of buzzword readathon chick litathon and that is it. The next book I read was Honor Girl by Maggie Thrash. This was actually a memoir and I read it in graphic book form and in audiobook form which made it a little bit easier to digest. I was having a little trouble reading just the graphic novel so when I found it on audiobook I just jumped on and was like hey plus it falls into the categories of buzzword readathon, uh, romance roundabout for LGBT Q plus and for genre thon for being under 300 pages and also under 600 six hours in audiobook form. I gave that book 3.5 3 to 3.5 stars. I definitely think that this story being that it's a memoir it was a little harder to judge and rate and things like that but listening to it on audiobook and following along with the graphic novel itself really did help because some of those pictures in there just didn't make any sense. The full ensemble cast in the audiobook form really helped bring that to life because you had music and you had them singing you had different voices to go with the different characters and it just really made it flow a lot more. The next book I finished was An Imperfect Heart by Amy Knight and I gave I placed this in contemporary. I was offered this book or I received this book as an arc as an advanced read and I placed it in contemporary and this book blew my mind blew my mind because Amy blows my mind with her books. I give this book five stars this did not fall into any of the categories that I'm for any of the readathons that I'm doing, but this book follows Kelly and Anthony and they have one night together and then they're sort of, I wouldn't even say they were torn apart, but they went their separate ways because they felt that they had different roads to take in life. And it was just absolutely beautiful. I finished it on Saturday, so I finished it yesterday before Mother's Day and it was just the most precious Mother's Day gift ever. It definitely touched my heart and I appreciated every single piece of their story. 
Then the last book that I read last week was Big Girl Panties by Stephanie uh, Ivanovich. And I placed this in a rom-com and I read it for Buzzword Readathon. And I enjoyed this book. I give it 4.25 stars. I listened to it on audiobook. And this story, as you may think, I completely went into it blind for one. And I was like, okay, big girl panties. Let me just go ahead and jump into that. Let me see how it fits. It fits my word for buzzwordathon with big girl. And I was a little off put by it in the beginning. I thought I didn't know where it was going to go. And I was a little leery about it, but I gave it a chance. And in the end, the characters ended up having this journey that was very enjoyable and not as offensive as some of the other reviews that I ended up reading after I finished it made it made it out to be. Because it deals with heavier women and sort of the personal, well, he's a personal trainer, the male character, Logan, he has some misconceptions and some ideas that aren't very flattering. But overall, both characters had a journey throughout this whole entire book. So that's why I gave it 4.25 stars. So those are the books that I read last week. Have you read any of them? Did my descriptions make you want to read any of them? Do you want me to elaborate on any of the books? Let me know down in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. Thank you for watching. And once again, happy Mother's Day. See you guys later.